So both my headlights on my car are obviously pretty dull, pretty yellow. I was in line buying this for $20 and a gentleman told me, get some bug spray and use that. That'll clean it up. So I decided to get both. We're gonna test it out and see how, the, see how it works, see which one works better. So the off says to shake it well before use and I am violating federal law because I'm not using it in accordance with its label. But let's see what happens. You can definitely see it getting clearer. It's almost sticky to the touch. So let's give it another go. And I don't know if the bug spray itself is just yellow or if the yellow that's coming off on the rag is the yellow from the headlight. But you can definitely see quite a difference in the two. I'm gonna keep working this for a little bit, do a couple coats and I'll turn the video back on in a minute. Well, I did about five coats of it and I was pretty aggressive on the fourth and fifth one with how hard I was kind of rubbing it out. And then I finished with a clean rag. And then just to kind of give it that smooth, I used some of the Armor Oil plastic protectant just to kind of give it that smooth feeling again. But compared to the other side, it made a big difference. So let's pause the video again and I'll try the uh, Meguiar's two-step on this one. We'll see which one works better. So this kit comes with two pads or basically like a real fine Scotch-Brite pad and then uh, gel and then a spray. It says to uh, put about a quarter size amount of solution on the cleaning pad and then back and forth motion, clean the entire headlight, reapplying the cleaning solution as needed. So that's shaking up pretty good. Oh, I guess I gotta take the uh, little foil piece off. Sorry, I need my other hand for this. Oh, I got some of this solution on my phone. All right. So I'll do a big quarter. And back and forth. With this, I would say, as opposed to the the bug spray stuff, you probably definitely need to watch out for the paint too, which I wiped it right off when I got it on the paint. But with this, you're actually using a scouring pad. So if you rub this on the paint, you'll definitely scratch your surface. Not that this car's paint is great to begin with. It's a older car. It's been parked under a tree for quite some time. So this is basically the process I'm doing. Uh, I wipe a, wipe a little bit of away, even though it's the first coat and see what it looks like. Not much change. So I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, so I haven't got the step two yet. So it says when you have a frosted looking finish that's smooth across the whole thing, but I think I'm gonna do another application just to try to get rid of some, of, some more of the yellow and then we'll see what happens and I'll move on to step two after two or three more applications of this. So far, the uh, bug spray looks like it's working better, but we'll see in the end. All right, so my arm is definitely tired from scrubbing this light. So this is only the first step. 
this is the off bug spray so this stuff says to apply a medium coat let it dry for three or five minutes then apply another medium coat so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, we'll see how it looks I've already shaken up the can well it's definitely clearing up So I think that's a pretty good medium coat. It definitely made it clear up a little bit more. So now that's the first coat of this. This actually looks better than the off bug spray. So depending on how it looks after two coats, I may do this treatment to this headlight as well and just see if doing this as a finish to the off works better because the off actually was easier to get the light looking a little clearer a little bit quicker so let's see let it dry for three to five minutes and then follow with a second medium wet coat to completely seal the headlight should be dried at a touch within three to five minutes so i'll be back to you guys in a little bit okay so i haven't gotten to the point that i've done the second coat yet but definitely you can still see a little bit of a yellow tint here. This is the Meguiar's. Again, only one coat of the spray, but it's a lot clearer than the bug spray, but yet the bug spray is definitely whiter. So I think the best solution may be spending 26 bucks doing the bug spray than the Meguiar's. But we'll see in the end. I'll save that for the end. All right, after the second coat, the second coat really didn't make as big of a difference as the first coat, but it looks nice. It's clear. I like it. The bug spray, it looks good. If I didn't see the other one, I would say this one looks really good. However, um, I do like the clearness of, hang on a second, sorry about that. I do like the clearness of the other one, but I like how white this one is. So I'm going to do the Meguiar's process to this light to see if I can get that clear finish as well. And then uh, I'll come back to you. So just to show you, the scouring pad, it definitely roughens up the surface a little bit. So I'm guessing, you know, with this one, it's just removing it by sheer physical force to knock the oxidation off. This one, we did the chemical removal with the bug spray then knock down the surface. And then the clear coat, all that's doing is just filling in the gaps to give it a smooth, clearer finish. So I'll hit you back when I uh, got a clear on. Actually, I'll spray the clear on while we're looking and we'll watch it and see if it clears up. So it says a medium coat. Because with the other one, yeah, even this one, you can definitely see the transition already to where it's starting to look clear. So that's much clearer already, but then you can still see the yellow tint in this light. So I'm not gonna go back and redo this light the entire way, but the way to do it's gonna be use the chemical, get it white, then go to the Meguiar's with the scouring and then finish it with the clear. And then uh, with the clear, I'm sorry, with, with, the, with the spray, you actually get to seal the light as well. So here's having used off, then doing the Meguiar's compared to just doing the Meguiar's. This is definitely the best combination of the two. It's white, it's clear, it's shiny. This one is clear, but it definitely has a yellow tint. Thanks for watching.